I don't want to say the exact same thing every time though. Hi kids, welcome to another video. King David loved God, and he wrote many psalms or songs about his love for God. The Israelites collected the songs David and other people wrote and put them in the Bible in the book of Psalms. David wrote psalms when he was happy and thankful to God. David sang, Yahweh our Lord, how magnificent is your name throughout the earth. God had done great and powerful things, and God deserved to be praised. David also sang praises to God when he was sad or afraid. Sometimes David wrote songs to God when he was hiding from his enemies, like King Saul. David sang, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God whose word I praise, in God I trust, I shall not be afraid. David also wrote songs to God when he was sorry for his sin. David wrote, I sinned only against you. Give me a clean heart, God. And forgive me. David understood that God didn't just want sacrifices. God wanted David's heart to change so he would not sin against God anymore. God forgave David and David praised God. David also wrote songs to show how important it is to read and learn God's word. David thought about God's word all the time. He taught his son Solomon to love and follow God's word too. When Solomon became king, he asked God for help to lead the Israelites. Solomon could have asked for riches or a long life, but he asked for wisdom and God was pleased. And he gave Solomon so much wisdom that everyone knew that God had blessed Solomon. Solomon wrote thousands of wise sayings called Proverbs. He also wrote more than a thousand songs in the book of Proverbs. Solomon said to love and worship God. He told people how to make wise decisions if people listened to God's word and did what God told them to do, God would bless them and protect them. They would get along well with their friends and neighbours. They would have happy marriages and families. They would be healthy and live long lives. If they did not listen to God's word and obey them, they would make, a, make bad decisions and face consequences for their sins. They would not be happy, healthy or get along well with others. Trust in God with all your heart, Solomon wrote. In Proverbs 3, chapter 3, verse 5. Watch how hard an ant works. Work hard too. This is the wise thing to do. But people do not always listen to God's word. In the book of Ecclesiastes, Solomon said that God made the world so that people would worship God and see how good God is. But all people do not obey and love God like they should. The most important thing Solomon said was to love and obey God. Solomon even wrote a poem. He taught that there is a time for everything, a time to give birth and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, time to tear down and time to build, time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. Wisdom in the Bible is not just words about how to live. God gives us wisdom because he wants us to be like Jesus in how we live, how we speak, and how we think. We become wise by knowing and loving Jesus, who became God-given wisdom for us. In 1 Corinthians 1 verse 30, it says, You are God's children. He sent Christ Jesus to save us and to make us wise, acceptable, and holy. I hope you enjoyed that video. Today, for craft, we're gonna go um, and make something special. We're gonna make a trumpet. In Psalms and Proverbs, there's a lot of praising and singing these praises to God because we wanna thank God for what he has done for us and who he is. So, what you need to do is head to the link below and print out the craft activity. It's gonna look a little bit like this. 
Now, once you've done that, you want to head on, get your coloured textures and pencils and colour it in. I've already done that. You can colour in all of the instruments, you can colour in the background, all these different things. Once you've done that, go ahead and get your scissors and make sure you have help from a parent if you need help. And you want to cut out all around the very edge. So we're going to do that now. Once you've cut out your um, sheet of paper, what you want to do is you want to start rolling your sheet. If you want, you can fold it along that thick line to make sure that you roll along the right line. And you want to roll so that it makes a little bit of a funnel or a tube shape. It's a bit tricky, so you might want to ask for some help, but you want to make it so that your pattern picture lines up with the other side of the pattern picture. As you can see, it doesn't quite line up all the way to the top, but that's okay because what you can do is you can colour it in as well. So I'm going to use my glue stick and I'm going to glue all along this white non-pattern section and stick it down. And there we go, we have our trumpet ready to sing praises to our God and King. Well, I hope you enjoyed this craft and I hope to see you again next time. Bye guys!